What's going on YouTube? It's Mellow DFS coming to you live and direct. Here to give you my fave five plays for tonight's seven game main slate. Hope everybody's having an amazing day. Before I start, please smash the like button. Please subscribe. And if you don't mind, press the bell icon for future videos. We're going to jump into it. We got a lot of value plays today and some great stud plays. So let's go. Now, going to point guard, knowing that Trey Burke is out. And with the rotation, they just don't know what they want to do with the rotation. But. Nonetheless, Alonzo Trier is in an amazing spot against Washington. Washington is one of the worst teams against the point guard spot. But Alonzo Trier is balling. He's averaging 28.5 fantasy points in the past five games. He's averaging 15.2 points a game, around 6.2 rebounds. He's averaging 28.5 when underdog in his matchup. I want to take a look at Alonzo Trier. It's going to be a fast pace. Uh, let's see, it'd be 104 New York, 102 for Washington. Should be a close, good game, but nonetheless, in an amazing spot. Hopefully, he could do damage. Uh, he's only 3,800 on DraftKings, which is still 39 on FanDuel. Definitely want to plug him in for a great save in your lineup. Averaging, he's at 23, 11, 47, 18, 42. They just need to give this guy some minutes, and hopefully he's in the rotation. So I um, want to update my video around 5.30 just to see the starting lineup. But also a great sleeper as Mude is also in a great spot. So we want to monitor this position. But going against Washington in the point guard spot is definitely where you want to target. So Knicks is in an amazing spot tonight. All right, now going in, going into my shooting guard, we'll stay on this. We'll go to Tim Frazier. Now, Tim Frazier has been doing damage ever since he left Washington. He's been getting looks in the past two games, 27, I mean, past three games, 22, 27, 43. Last three games in minutes, 38, 24, 36. Look at Tim Frazier, y'all, going against the Clippers. Now, even with the Clippers, you know, he's averaging 30 fantasy points in the past three games that he's been starting. He's averaging 7.2 assists a game, averaging 33 minutes a game. The Clippers are allowing an average 38.8 fantasy points per game to the starting point guard spot. They give up an average 7 assists a game, which is in Tim Frazier's category. All right, and also around 7.2 field goals a game to the starting point guard. So de definitely want to take a look at Tim Frazier in a great, great spot in salary. He's only 47 on DraftKings. 52 on FanDuel. Looking about his value to be 20 fantasy points where I can see that. Hopefully get around 25 to 30 tonight in a great matchup spot. So I'm plugging in Tim Fraser and my shooting shooting guard. Now we're going to small forward. My guy for tonight. Look at Kevin Durant. This guy is going insane. 10,900 on, on DraftKings. Only 100 more on FanDuel. He's getting around 36 minutes. But look, in the past three games, 40, 42, 39 minutes in those games. 50, 77, 78. Getting about seven times value in this price tag. He should definitely be up there. But we're going to take this save on DraftKings. Now, KD's averaging 40 points average y'all 8.8 .8 rebounds a game 7.2 assists a game getting about 40 minutes a game 1.69 fantasy points per minute on the court getting in about 37 percent usage in the past five games he's averaging 60 fantasy points when favored and he's averaging 67.8 fantasy points per game in the past five games i'm gonna go with kevin durant green is still out also another good play is Steve, uh, Steph Curry, but Kevin Durant is carrying his team, y'all, so plugging him in tonight. All right, also you want to have access to my plays, feel free to use this tool, Draft Dashboard Tools, one-stop shop. It's all about saving research time, y'all. As you can see, it gives you last three games, fantasy points, minutes, also usage, a great tool. Also, what has been updated, if you haven't noticed, if you click this icon where the fire is, you see the last five games they give with the opponent. All right, that's also what has been added. It's a, definitely a, a great bonus. We're adding updates on a daily, y'all. So definitely want to stay tuned. 
click on the link in my description to sign up limited time right now for 30 days so we can't beat it so join it y'all once you sign up click the menu bar you have access to your sleepers your studs click the watch players list you have access to all my plays you click watch metals dfs picks to get my plays for FanDuel or DraftKings. kings also nfl for nfl week 14 is going to be there as well so stay tuned check it out click on the link in the description and sign up all right now let's go to my power forward now power forward we're going to look at markeith morris in the smashing spot now markeith morris only 5900 on DraftKings, 700 more on fanduel last three games 42 10 37 and minutes look at his usage 24 26 23 in the past three games going against the Knicks he's going to be doing damage going to look at him he's averaging 34.1 fantasy points in five close games this is a two-point favor in this matchup with the Knicks all right he's in better play in down pace games he's av in uh, he's averaging 38.7 fantasy points in down pace games he had a 36 fantasy point game versus the Knicks. That was November the 4th. He had 31 minutes, averaging 16 points, 8.4 rebounds a game. With the white out coming from the bench, he's turning up recently in a smashing spot. So definitely want definitely want to take a look at Marquise Morris going ham. All right, now let's go to our center. Now for the center, I have to go with my man A. D man, this guy is going crazy just like Kevin Durant. Man, he's going crazy now. He's been in the perfect lineup three out of the last four games. He's averaging 33 points a game, 14 rebounds, getting about 36 minutes a game. He had a 67 fantasy point game versus the Clippers. That was October 23rd with 40 minutes. He was 11 from 21 from the field, 13 rebounds. Now the Clippers, they allow an average 42, 42 fantasy points to the starting center position. 40 fantasy points win underdog. I'm looking at him to ball out in a smashing spot. He's averaging 1.78 fantasy points per minute on the court. Averaging 59.55 phase points when favored. Looking at AD in my center spot to smash value. All right, he's he's about 11.5 on DraftKings, 12 sevens, pretty steep. Looking about seven times value just to get value on draft on FanDuel, but on DraftKings, 66. I definitely see that. That's definitely um able he's able to get that man and in this type of pace game and it should be close looking at them to looking at him to go crazy all right y'all let's go back into the recap for my plays going to point guard i'm gonna look at trier going shooting guard tim fraser going with small forward kevin durant power forward we're gonna go down down, down to Markeith Morris, center Anthony Davis. Now we got 4,400 remaining for the last three plays. Also, you want to look at my rest of my plays on Drive Dashboard Tools. Like I said, all you gotta do is click the link in my description to check that out. Sign up, 30 days, bro. So just check it out. All right, now let's go to guard. There's another spot. I'm going, still going with Knicks. Moutier is in a great spot at 5,000. Now let's go to Ford. Now if Joe Harris is out. Another guy I'm looking at will be Carroll. Now Demar Carroll is has been balling against against Cleveland last year. He's been going crazy. He's have great upside against Cleveland. So if he gets the minutes and Joe Harris out, I'm going to plug in Carroll. 3,900 is still still have 43 remaining. All right, let's go down this list. All right. That much to really go by. Let's see. My plug in like a Stanley Johnson. He's been going crazy. Going against OKC. OKC. Something I could look at. You know, 31 last game, 38 against Knicks. You know, OKC is not that. It's not real good against the four spot. 
So Stanley Johnson is a great spot. So look at Stanley Johnson. I still get 600 remaining, but I'll have a lineup for DK and FanDuel uh, locked down before. Uh, should be around 6 o'clock Eastern Time. All right, like my plays, give me a thumbs up. Any questions, concerns, leave a comment below. It's Mel DFS. Love y'all. I collect that bag tonight.